Hello to my lovies, friends. Today I want us to talk about two letters and they're going to make a brand new sound. This is going to be a real easy one for you. Take a look at OR. Now if I were to blend them using short O and R, it would be AH -er. And in English, here we go again, OR is going to make a brand new sound. It's going to say OR. And if you look at our picture, it's a stork with a horn. And these pictures that I used to use have the sound in the name of the picture. So stork, st, ork, and horn, horn, are going to be two of the words that we see today. All right, you ready to begin? There you go, just or. Would you like mustard or ketchup? Good, four. She's saying this is for you. And she's giving her little friend. This is called a speech bubble. Sometimes in books, they will have the words, the girl said, this is for you. But sometimes, the speech bubble, we put the words of what she said. And who this points to is always the one who's talking. If the point went over here, it would be this girl talking. So that's called a speech bubble, just for you to know. All right, four. That's an easy one for us. K or n corn. And you know I love corn on the cob. But an easy way to eat corn is to take a knife and pull it off or pop corn. And take a look at how big a corn plant grows. It's taller than those kids. There we go. Did you blend? Horn, horn, and all kinds of horns. There's a horn that you might have on your bike or a horn that you can blow. The horn on a car, the horn on a rhinoceros or a moose. Fork, fork, sure. Fork, a knife, and a spoon. All together we'd call this silverware, but that's that. Let's just count how many letters are in this word again. Four letters. How many sounds? Only three sounds. Four letters, three sounds. Right. Fort. There's a fort. Form. Form. And a form is something grown-ups use a lot. If we are going to um, give our information, give our name and our telephone number and address to someone, we fill out, we write the words in these little boxes. That's a form. Good. Sort. Sort. What does sort mean? You can sort all kinds of things. Here we're going to sort some socks. Put the green on one side, pink on one side, or purple on one side. Whoops. That's right. When we sort, they all have to be the same on one side. Port. And a port is a place where big ships come and... We talked about this being a dock, but this whole area is called the port. <laughs> Sn snort. Snort. Sp ort. Sport. And you know there are lots of kinds of sports.
worn, worn. Take a look at those shoes. They are worn out. All right, is this going to be a B or a D? If I put another circle there, it's going to be a B. So that reminds me, that's going to be B. Oh, you get a picture taken the day you're born. T or N. Right, torn. Her shirt is torn, or the page on the book is torn. Cork, and I have a little cork here. Let's see. I got one out of my drawer. There's a cork, and here's a bigger size cork. And they use them to put in the tops of bottles if you didn't have a, a lid that screws on. Those are the corks. But this is, and also they can take this cork, and if they roll it out flat, they can make bulletin boards and you can stick pins in them. But this is so interesting to me. Look at how we get cork. This is a cork tree. And every seven years, the owner of the cork tree can come and he peels, he cuts off the bark of the tree. And look on the inside, that's the cork. And I didn't know that that's how they made cork. Pork. Oh, pork is so good to eat. Comes from a pig. St pork. And this is what was on our picture in the beginning. Stork. And this is what a real stork looks like. And a lot of times in cartoons and in stories, they'll say, the stork brought a baby. Storks don't really bring you babies, but that's what they say in cartoons sometimes. Stork. St. Storm. Ooh, we've had a lot of those lately. Storm. Now, this is kind of a funny word. You probably already know what it says. Horse horse. But I want you to take a look because if I were going to write horse the way it sounds, I would write or s. But take a look at horse. It has an e on the end of it. There's a reason. In English, if we put an s on the end of a word, it means more than one. There's book and books. Well, here's the word horse. And if I spelled it just the way it sounds, it has an S on the end of it. So that would mean more than one horse. And it isn't. If there's more than one, I'm going to say horses. So we put an E on the end. And that E isn't going to do anything. It just is going to make it so that S is not on the end of the word. It doesn't make a sound. It just sits there. I didn't get to make the rules for our language. All right, let's do a sentence. It's good. Stuck. Read what we have so far. Start from the beginning. Hmm, stuck in the what? Corn. Read the whole sentence. There's the fork. All right, here's our word family. Everything's going to end in ip. Ready? Going to try to go fast. D. L. Mm. 
Dr. Sk. Good work. Good job. Love you.